Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode here on The Learning Droid. Uh, today we're just going to be looking at the patterning of a single piece. In this case it's going to be the patterning of a sign I did for a colleague. Laser printed pattern onto a piece of normal uh, A4 white paper and then started patterning it. Now this is the new wood, uh, sorry, walnut hollow versatile and it's adjustable temperature so it took me a couple of attempts to get the temperature right. The temperature should be sort of on the upper end actually. It was quite surprising it had to be quite high. Um, for those of you using the tool I'd say it's about a third of the way into the orange. So into the third colour. With the first one being light yellow then yellow then orange. As you can see all you do is you fix the piece of paper in place. I tend to fold it around quite carefully so that it's fixed in place in multiple places so you've got references for where the pattern is and then fix it in place with a ball clip and then you run the patterning bit at the right temperature over the back. You should focus on small areas at a time because what you're looking to do is you're looking to heat up the temperature sensitive ink that you get from laser printing or photocopying and you're looking for the temperature sensitive toner that you get from laser printing or photocopying and you're looking to heat it up, make it liquid again, apply a little bit of pressure and transfer it onto the wood. Now by fixing the pattern in place what you can do is you can do these checks which I'm doing as you can see and you just open it up and check where the pattern is missing, where the pattern is working, things like that. Nice and easy, nice and simple. And as you can see there's an awful lot of uh, bits and pieces that need redoing mainly because I haven't gotten the temperature quite right on this one however a variable temperature machine makes it much much easier it's so much easier than using a single temperature machine because I don't have to worry about burning the paper as you can see there's no signs of burns on the paper there's no signs of the bit getting too hot and that's just because the variable temperature machine lets me set the temperature and that's brilliant so in the next few video guys I'll be showing you the burn and then the colour for this particular piece. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.